Look how cute you look. So I'm gonna show you today how to paint a one stroke butterfly. This is my, well, I've got three favorites and this is one of my favorite face paint designs to do on the job. I really love it because you can, one, you get asked for it all the time. And so to be able to jazz it up a bit, mix it, try different colors, change it as you go along, keeps it interesting and fresh. Um, so I'm gonna show you my favorite one at the moment to paint. Um, and I'm gonna do it I haven't even decided on the colours yet, so I think I'm going to go for a rainbow, a rainbow over the top, and then some cool to little wings over the side. I just, yeah, here we go. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to put my mirror just out of shot so you can't see. But if I go this side, okay, so I'm gonna start about there. Now that, if you can see that line, it's parallel with the arch of your eyebrow. Um, so I like to do it where I kind of pull it in. I tend to do about three. Three wings. And then I'll bring this down Gosh, it's really hard to talk and paint at the same time. I'll bring it down and then create another da da da. There we go. So that is the first wing. Now, usually, my top tip with wings is you start with your side that you're not so good at and then move on to your side that you're strongest with. So I usually start this side, boop, 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 and then move on to the other side. What I'm gonna do first though, is do the rainbow over the top so I know exactly how much room I have left to paint. So I'm gonna load up my rainbow brush. Now for the rainbow brush, I find these blazing brushes. Look how fancy. So the bra the blazing. Can you see? The, it's called the Blazing Brush by Marcia Busamante. And it's the flat three quarter angle brush. I really like this one for rainbows, um, for the side, because it's just really easy to kind of get it, get it on, get it on. So, I'll show you. This is a new one. It's by a brand called Craze. Now, I saw this at a convention at the weekend and I thought I have to have this paint because, I don't know whether you can see, but look, it's, it's got a mound. Can you see that? So the mound, it allows um, it allows you to actually load your brush up. And I don't know whether anyone else gets this, but I always get with my one strokes um, a dip in the middle of them because that's the the ones that you use the most usually have like a, a big sort of crater in the middle, and you have to. You have to like fill it up and get it all mended. Anyway, this I thought was awesome because it's got a mound at the top and it's really easy to load. Um, so I'm gonna just do my rainbow over the top. I'm just kind of going back and forth, making sure that I've got enough 
Nifer Ember um, on the forehead, can you see? Da -da. Um, so I'm going to go back in now and do the other wing and then we get on to some of the fun stuff. So, gonna do my other wing. Just loading up the brush. I'm doing a quick back and forth. It's nice and loaded. Okay. Now they did the same wing there. Let's see, so I'm gonna bring this in and up. I know you can't really see, but I'm there we go. So I'm kind of doing a, like a wiggly movement, bringing it in, going back in on myself, bringing it in, there. So I'm going to load that up again to get a stronger mark on this side. So you can see on this side, I've got the strong mark there, I'm going to create the same on that side. And it just takes a little bit a little bit of extra loading and then you can go back in and make the marks. Now you can paint directly onto face paint that you've already painted so I'm going to jazz the design up a little bit in a few minutes but these are really quick to do on the job and you can make them really very effective. Um, so I'm happy with that. I might go in again and brighten up the rainbow, do another coat on this Obviously, if you've got a big line of people, this is fine. But because I've got you guys here, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna be a bit OCD with the level of kind of brightness that I want. Um, right. There we go, and you can see just adding that extra layer brightens up that rainbow, makes it a bit, a bit nicer. So I'm going to now go in and do the bottom wings. I'm going to go in this side, create this wing. Can you see? We've got the wing shape there, and it creates a really nice, nice, beautiful red wing. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. Um, I'm going to go down, do the first bit, do the second bit. Third bit. There we go. And then you've got your kind of, you've got your basic shape of your butterfly. So, although I feel super fabulous already, and I really like the way that this looks, I'm gonna add some nice line work and I'm going to add um, some stencils as well. So there are some face painters that just use stencils in the work, they'll stencil kind of the different, the different designs, they'll stencil a unicorn on or they'll stencil something which like is is okay but you, you kind of get what you pay for with the brushwork with hiring face painters um, I prefer to use stencils as an addition to the texture of the design and to create a little bit of interest um, so I've got I've got these stencils so I've got this star stencil that 
I mean, I could put it over there, I could put it over there. Um, and I've got some of these. These are um, bad ass or half assed stencils, um, and they're really effective. They create a really nice texture. So you can see there's, there's stars, different stars, there's animal print. Um, this is great for dragons, snakes, frozen designs. There's loads, um, but I'll show you how to use these properly. I'll do another video. Um, my top tip for stencils, get one of these. It's a finger dauber. This is the best investment that I got last year. And they're like, they're mega cheap. They're really effective. And before I used to do the stencils and I'd get halfway through the design, I think, oh, I'll add a bit of texture and I'd stencil on with a, with a sponge. Um, and it'd ruin the design because all of the paint would wash. So massive tip I use a dauber so I'm gonna spray spray the dauber and then I'm gonna rub it on the white and spray the white make sure that I've got enough on the dauber I can test that it's got the right amount for me on my hand and then I can go in and decide where I want to place the stencils so I can do this it's pretty and then I'm going to do another one over the other side because we like to kind of matchy matchy with face paints. So I'm just going to hold it with the two and then go in, go in and paint. Now you can tell I'm not used to the um, the back to frontness of filming because I've just kind of like completely missed my forehead. But that's okay because we have reusable wipes that you can use that are really cool and really good. There we go. So don't be afraid as well on the job if you do miss or you do mess up to go in with a wipe with a with a flannel or a face cloth and just tidy up the edges um, because the kid's not going to mind and it's better to correct something that's gone wrong than to leave it or try and fix it and just get worse um, in this design that you think oh no what have I done um, anyway so as you can see there's some pretty stars I'm gonna look at the complementary colors so we've got a yellow there so complementary to yellow is purple so I'm gonna use some purple paint I'm gonna use now don't judge me on this one but this is one of my Sally Ann palettes Sally Ann Lynch really good palettes um, it's it's nearly empty but I'm I'm using the last bits um, I must place an order soon, Sally, so that will happen. Um, but yeah, for the moment, I just kind of use this one for all of my like practice work. So the, the stuff that I do on my own design boards at home, I use it for that. So I'm gonna use this, this nice purple color. Um, I'm just loading up the brush now. Let me load it. The beauty of these palettes is you can kind of, you can just have these and a 
a black and a white in a brush set and that can be your kit. Um, so this brush I am using is the, the little Lacone um, 7400 angular half half inch and it could just create a really pretty line work as you can see um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my mirror for this so I'm gonna do some But you can see I'm just adding a little bit of interest and detail around these areas. Um, Now you don't have to do this, but if you if you have an event where it's like a wedding or something like that, and you've got a bit of extra time to paint, or it's a, a small birthday party, and you've got you have got a bit of extra extra time, there's not as much of a rush. Um, you can create some really really beautiful additional designs just by kind of creating that interest there, and try and make sure that you match the other side because again not so much if you're doing a one eye design but if you're doing two then it just creates a really nice texture effect um, it's the same as adding the stars it creates that interest and that that extra element that's going to kind of get your your work noticed at the events. Um, ooh, so, what I am going to do is just kind of take a purple underneath the rainbow because I think it'll tie in all of that additional line work that we've just kind of done. So. <laughs> You can see just adds a little bit of niceness now for the line work I'm going to use the purple as my dark color because usually you can use black or, or green it depends on the design um, but I'm going to use the purple and I'm also going to use some white as well to create some teardrops so the brush that I'm going to use for the line work is another face painting shop brush it is the oh, round can you see that round pointed six this is the tits it's so good um mate i got it and i was oh, it was one of the best days of my life you know well i'm not that much of a geek a little bit of a geek but yeah, when I got it through, when I got the this brush, I did an order from the face painting shop when they'd when they'd just kind of got me in, and oh, it just creates these really lovely effortless lines. Um, you watch me say that and then completely mess up the design. Now, touch wood, we won't. Um, so I'm gonna just create some really kind of whimsical little flourishes and the line work create some little leaves
So as you can see, it's kind of extending the design and creating some nice little extra bits. Can you see? Ooh. And you get your hair in your mouth. Uh, yeah. So I'm just pulling the brush around and putting a, a bit of pressure and then lifting off the pressure so it's really easy to create these quite sharp teardrop effects. Um, if I'm not talking it's because I'm concentrating. You can be as flamboyant as you like with these lines. Um, I quite like to, when I'm painting the these at festivals, I keep it quite simple. Um, but it's always nice to create that bit of interest and to give yourself doo -doo, that that extra bit of a challenge um, when you're painting. So let's have a look. I'm going to use this one for the white, which is just um, a number three face painting shop brush. Um, and it, it's quite nice for dot work, so I'm going to do three little dots in the corner. I'm going to do some more teardrops there. And if you can see, it just creates that added depth to the design. Um, I usually do them in sets of five. Um, Just creating some some extra bits of line work there. I'm completely blocking the mirror. Completely blocking the camera with the nail, sorry. Sorry guys. I wonder how many times I've done that. Oh, sorry. Um There we go. So there is your butterfly design. So it's super cute, bit funky, and it creates that nice joyful feel to your butterfly. I will show you some next time. So this is Millie Rose from Fantastic Faces. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for the next video and I will see you on the flip side. Stay creative! Hmm? Ta -da.